Okay, this is an attempt to explain the tree map data structure by solving this lead code problem 1146 snapshot array. Okay, uh, so we have to implement uh, a snapshot uh, array that supports the following interface. Okay, we have to implement this interface. Uh, this is the constructor, and the constructor contains the length and it initializes an array like data structure with the given length. Initially, uh, each element equals to zero okay uh, and then set this will set the value uh, at a particular index okay and then snap take the snapshot of that array array like data structure whatever we've used earlier take a snapshot snapshot of that and store it somewhere right and then uh, get so this is the in interesting method here so get at a particular index for a particular snap Okay, so I'll explain what exactly this is. Uh, so uh, this is initialization, initializing with uh, length of three, right? So initializing an array with length of three. So let us assume it is an array uh, with the length of three and the values are by default set to zero, zero and zero. Okay, uh, later uh, what we do is we call a set method with 0 and 5 okay so at index 0 1 2 uh, we set the value of, to be 5 okay I've set this to 5 okay now I take a snap of this so I've taken a snap of this and I've given a snapshot a snapshot ID snap ID as 0 okay now I've copied this again okay and now uh, I'll use the get method and set the value of uh, at index 0 to be 6 so instead of 5 this value will be 6 okay so this is uh, what it is okay if we look at a little complicated example so the current snap id would be 1 right uh, so if we look at a slightly complicated example uh, let us look into this Okay, so this is the brute force uh, approach, uh, brute force implementation of this particular uh, uh, interface. Okay, so let us consider uh, the length, uh, the snapshot uh, array, this constructor is called with a length of 6. Okay, if this is called with a length of 6, then initially 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. 0. This will be initialized. Okay, indices will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this will be snap 0, right? So uh, let us consider we call the set method three times 1, 2, 3, 1, and then 0, 4. Okay, so the values at indices 0, 1, and uh, 3 will be set to the following values 0 will be set to 4. Uh, 1 will be set to 2 and 3 will be set to 1 right so this is the snapshot and then uh, we take a snap okay so we take a snap and then provide a snap id as 0 and then the next snap would be 1 right so the easiest way to do is uh, use a two dimensional array so this will be the snap id 0 and this will be the array We'll have to copy the same array again, right? So we'll have to copy the same same ID uh, same ID array again, and this will be snapshot one. And then uh, let us call the uh, set method again three times. So let us assume we've called it like three comma five, uh, four comma six, and then five comma seven. Okay let us consider we've called it with these three values so 3 comma 5 will make uh, this value this value and this value right uh, 3 comma 5 4 comma 6 and 5 comma 7 okay so this will be the new snap so now if I want to get at a particular index say the index is 0 and the snap is 1 okay at snap 1 and at uh, index 0 this is the value and if you want to say at snap uh, uh, 1 at index 3 then this will be the value at snap 1 at index 3 then this will be the value right so this is a very easy way to implement this so 
at this uh, point, whenever you take a snap rate, uh, this is costing us O of length. Okay, we are copying the entire array. Okay, this is copying uh, costing us O of length time complexity, and the space complexity for this entire thing would be O of length into uh, the uh, O of length into the number of snaps we have taken. Okay, of length into this number of snaps we have taken. This would be the space complexity. Okay, uh, but then if you want to call this get method, then this would take O of one time complexity, and space complexity obviously uh, is common for all of them. Okay, uh, it will be O of length into O of uh, O of length into snap size. Okay. Uh, and then uh, if you want to set a particular value as well the time complexity is O of 1 okay so uh, in this case what we are doing here is if we have six items then we are copying all the six items here that wouldn't be too costly but then if we have uh, say six million items then uh, the number of uh, times we call set method wouldn't possibly be so high like uh, if we have six million items we wouldn't uh, set all the six million items uh, again and again right uh, we'd probably set uh, like say a thousand values and then take a snap and then set another thousand values and then take another snap and so on right in this case uh, whenever a snap is taken if we can update a value then that would be uh, of a better use right so if if i submit this brute force uh, approach in lead code uh, it wouldn't accept because the uh, memory limit would exceed okay so uh, if I try to optimize this right I can do it in uh, the following way without using a tree map that I've not introduced to yet uh, so I can do it in the following way let us assume that the uh, length is 6 again okay the length is 6 again so instead of using a single uh, instead of using a two dimensional array i'll use a single array in which i'll have uh, six lists okay six lists as in because the length is six uh, i'm saying six lists if the length goes higher then the number of lists would also go higher okay Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and then this is the sixth one. Okay. So right now, uh, initially, what we'll do is we'll set zero comma zero. So zero here indicates the snap ID. So uh, the left value and the right value, right? This is the snap value, snap ID, and this is the actual value. Okay. 0 1 2 3 4 5 this is the index okay okay this is the snap value 0 comma 0 0 comma 0 0 comma 0 0 comma 0 comma 0 okay in this case uh, if we do a similar thing like here 4 2 0 1 right so in this case it would be whenever we set uh, the value similar to that it would be like this 4 2 0 1 okay and then uh, if I want to set another value for these values so here I've set uh, as follows right 3 comma 5 4 comma 6 and 5 comma 7 right if I set for the next snap so after this I take a snap so whenever I take a snap I'll increment a variable uh, and that variable will take care of my snap ID okay so initially the snap ID would be 0 and then I'll increment a variable that that would take care of my snap ID okay so set 3 comma 5 uh, so 3 comma 5 snap ID is right now 1 comma 5 and then uh, 4 comma 6 
snap id is 1 comma 6 and then 1 comma 7 okay this is the snap id uh, and uh, this is the index so at index 5 uh, the snap id is based on the snap that we've taken right so uh, if you observe here uh, the length of this array uh, this list is actually 1 and the length of this one is 2 so because it contains two snaps uh, because it contains changes in a snap uh, the length would the length of any particular list here would be the number of snaps taken here okay so we can take multiple snaps so if somebody takes a snap uh, and then modifies these values so this would be 2 comma 5 let us say and then uh, we take another 3 4 snaps and then we get another value like uh, 5 comma 7 and then we take a few more snaps and then we get another value like say 8 comma 5 and so on okay so here if you observe all these values are in a sorted manner right 0 comes first and then comes 5 and then comes 8 so the snap ID so uh, these lists always contain um, snap ID comma value and uh, this list is sorted by snap id so uh, because this list is sorted by snap id we can take advantage of this and when we want to get the value of this right we can use a binary search okay we can use a binary search so uh, i have pre-written a code for this uh, so i'll just uh, show you this program on lead code okay it will be slightly easier to show on lead code so I'll show you on lead code okay I'll first copy this this uh, I've opened lead code and let me paste it okay so this is the program if I run it it will work successfully I've already tested this okay so it works okay so what I've done here is uh, uh, I've used a list here and uh, uh, I've used a variable for maintaining the snap ID right uh, and then this is the constructor in the constructor what I've done is I've used a list I've initialized the list here and then I've added 0 comma 0 as the default value so for uh, uh, the question in the question it is already given that uh, we'll have to uh, initially each element equals 0 right this point is already mentioned in the question right that's the reason uh, I've added this line here okay so uh, and then for set what I've done is if the latest value in the list is having this uh, same snap ID then I'll replace it right so I'll, I'll just remove uh, if I'm trying to modify something in this particular snap right I'll just uh, remove the latest element in the list and then re-add it again okay uh, for snap id i'll just i'm just maintaining a variable and i'll just update it right uh, and then for get i'll have to use a binary search the binary search i'm using here right um, it contains three parts if uh, if we get the exact snap id then directly return the value so uh, for uh, this is a list of arrays right and the array will contain exactly two items here one is the snap and then the other one is the value snap comma value is what it is okay so uh, the left side one is snap so we'll have to compare it with the snap id if it is the exact snap id that we want then we want to return the value that is there in the right side okay if it is greater then we want to move to the uh, left side 
and if it is less than then we would want to move to the right side okay this is a basic binary search apart from that what i'm doing is uh, is i'm just storing the latest value where we have moved from left to right okay so uh, this is the latest value okay and then i'm returning this value i've initialized this value to be uh, the value at zero so initially everything uh, is initialized to 0 comma 0 for uh, for every single list we have an initial value of 0 uh, right as per the question we have done that and we've done that uh, here right that's the reason uh, this will never fail okay so I've used binary search here and I could do this so what I'm searching here is if the value is present then i am returning the value if the value is not present then i am returning the uh, value uh, for the seal uh, for the floor key okay floor key okay uh, or floor entry okay whatever is the floor entry so what exactly is the floor entry i'll define that here okay uh, so let us consider we have values like uh, so these are only the snap values I'm entering here so zero will there will be there for sure and then we have values like say three six uh, nine and then uh, 24 and then say 65 67 whatever it is okay and then you're trying to get uh, a value say seven when you're trying to get seven because seven is not present the nearest value to 7 is 6 right uh, so this particular binary search will return the value that is there at snap 6 that's what we are expecting right we'll copy the value at snap 6 until 9 and then at 9 we'll replace it right so that's what we are expecting uh, if uh, if we call this method for say 24 uh, then the value at 24 will be returned because 24 is present if we call it for any value between 24 to 67 to so 66 okay so even if we call 66 then it will return the value at 24 because that is the uh, floor key that is present here okay floor key is 24 and floor entry would be uh, 24 and the value that is present at the snap 24 okay so this is the floor entry method so uh, instead of doing whatever we've done here manually right we have used a list and then binary search what we can do is we can directly make use of uh, this data structure called tree map okay so what exactly is a tree map tree map is a red black tree based navigatable map implementation it is an implementation of a sorted map as well so the uh, keys are in uh, natural ordering okay the sorry okay the keys are in natural ordering as well and then the most important point is uh, this implementation provided uh, provides a guaranteed uh, log and time cost for contains key get put and remove operations so uh, that's the reason we are using this okay so for binary search as well we get log and time complexity and for this it is internally uh, using something similar to binary search so this is a tree based data structure right so this will also take uh, log and time complexity uh, to get this value so instead of using uh, whatever I've discussed here this is 4 comma uh, 0 comma 4 right uh, this value is uh, this value is 0 comma 4 right instead of using it as 0 comma 4 I can use this as 0 is the key that points to the value 4 okay if I use it this way then uh, I mean if I use a tree map then this is how it works 0 will be the key and the value would be 4 okay so I'll uh, right now change whatever I've written over here and show you how much code can be saved uh, by using
entry map okay instead of using a list and a binary search we can directly use tree map so i'll just show you that so binary search method is not required i'll just go from the starting so instead of a list i'll have to use uh, a map not just a simple map i'll have to use a tree map because uh, tree map will contains few other methods that i'll just discuss about okay uh, it is a map between an integer and an integer okay the key and the value are integers snap id will be required and then here instead of array list we'll have to use a tree map right and here as well instead of an array list we'll have to use a tree map okay the key is integer and the value is also integer and here we are trying to initialize this right so instead of this we'll have to use of i dot put 0 comma 0 okay so this is replaced by this okay and then instead of all this this is not required we can directly use a of index dot put snap id comma value okay value this okay okay and snap id it is the same thing and instead of this we can actually use return a of index dot floor entry so we have uh, this method called floor entry so what this does is exactly what i've explained here right uh, if you call any value between 24 and 66 it will return 24 because it doesn't contain any value between uh, I mean okay so if you call 66 right uh, the floor entry would be the value at 24 here okay uh, the key value pair at 24 okay that would be the map entry uh, if you call say 24 then you'll get 24 if you call 23 then it will again be 9 because uh, this is the recent snap taken right so floor entry of snap dot we are interested in the value here okay get value if we call get key then we'll get the snap id at which it was recorded okay so uh, we'll have values we have a uh, key is a snap id and the value is the value that's what we were returning here and that's what we'll be returning here okay uh, so i'll try submitting this okay it's working fine and it's accepted okay so uh, that's it for uh, tree map so uh, one more use case where you can use this is you can take advantage of this natural ordering uh, if you have uh, a lot of uh, say uh, multi-dimensional arrays and you would want to store it into a uh, map then you can uh, and you want to sort it based on something you can use a tree map for that as well so because this is a sorted map you can use tree map or uh, you have other sorted map implementations as well you can use any of those for that use case as well so thank you for watching